Hereditary coagulation disorders like hemophilia A or deficiency of factor uh, 8, hemophilia B deficiency of factor 9, vulnerable prone deficiency of vulnerable prone factors. Uh, in the three disorders, the effect may be quantitative. Quantitative means decrease in the production of the factor. Or qualitative means that the production of the factor but with decreased functional activity. So qualitative is a functional. It may be combination of the two abnormalities. Hemophilia A is most common uh, disease of the hereditary coagulation disorder. Hemophilia A occur in one to 10,000 of the male births, while hemophilia B occurs in uh, one to 25,000 uh, of the male births. Uh, so, hemophilia is a disease of males. Acquired coagulation disorders, acquired like deficiency of vitamin K, vitamin K deficiency factor, factor 2, factor 7, factor uh, 9, factor 10. Hemorrhagic disease of newborn, immaturity of the liver with decrease in the production of the most of the factors. Uh, pillary obstruction leading to decrease in the absorption of the vitamin K. Vitamin K is a fat soluble, no pile, no absorption or decrease in the absorption of the vitamin K. Male absorption of vitamin K inter uh, interfering with the absorption of vitamin K by drugs like uh, warfarin, oral anticoagulant therapy, liver diseases, deficiency of production of the most of the coagulation factor, renal diseases with uh, exists toxin accumulation in the body and decreasing in the uh, excretory function of the kidney uh, so it may lead to uh, a deficiency of the uh, functions of the coagulation factor because of accumulation of the toxins and the protein DIC or consumption of the most of the coagulation factors uh, coagulation inhibitors uh, maybe specific inhibitor antibodies against factor 8 during treatment or non-specific antibodies in immune disorder like systemic lupus erythematosus or rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, other causes of the acquired coagulation disorders, uh, paraproteinemia or uh, multiple myeloma. The multiple myeloma is abnormal protein, it's called paraprotein. Uh, abnormal protein leading to affection of the function of the coagulation factor. Uh, heparin therapy, heparin will interfere uh, with the uh, coagulation factor like thrombine, uh, leading to uh, interfering with the coagulation cascade, so coagulation disorder. Uh, massive transfusion syndrome, we mentioned massive, means that uh, we store the blood are given uh, to the patient that we need, uh, that need massive transfusion. Stored blood, stored blood, and stored blood uh, has a lot of factors with decrease in the function. So, functional activity of these uh, factors and collision factor in the stored blood uh, are decreased. Hemophilia is a disorder characterized by deficiency of coagulation factor, either factor 8 in the hemophilia A or factor 9 in hemophilia uh, B. Uh, the level of the factor. Uh, the normal level of the factor, normal level of the factor from range from 50 to 150 percent, we consider that the normal uh, factor activity. Uh, mild deficiency when we find the, the, the concentration from 5 to 40 percent, this means that this is a mild deficiency of the uh, factor. Uh, moderate deficiency of the factor when we find the concentration from 1 to 5 percent. While severe deficiency, uh, the concentration of the factor less than 1 percent. It will lead to bleeding, skin, hematomas or accumulation on the heme arthrosis as you can see and deformity and defect in the uh, movement and <coughs> shape of the joint. Uh, both hemophilia A and B are six-linked. Six-linked means that uh, it is on the X chromosome. Uh, affect only male, as we mentioned. Uh, and females are, in the most of the cases, carriers. 
we can here see uh, in this pic in this picture we can see that uh, the father here have hemophilia hemophilia father here the mother is a carrier mother carrier of the hemophilia and we can see the possible outcomes from the pregnancy of the normal unaffected father in this example example one normal father with the carrier uh, mother we can see that the percentage or the outcomes of the pregnancy it will be 25 percent without hemophilia son 25 percent daughter not a carrier 25 percent son with hemophilia 25 percent daughter carrier of hemophilia so we have uh, 25 percent daughter carrier and 25 percent daughter not a carrier 25 percent son without hemophilia and 25 percent son with hemophilia so we have 50 percent from if we uh, co uh, collected here the son percentage it will be 50 percent 50 percent and the girls it will be 50 percent from the 50 percent of the sons and the 50 percent of the daughter we can divide them into 25 normal and the 25 diseased or affected diseased while in the female the 50 percent daughters 25 percent will be normal and the 25 percent will be carrier so this is a possibilities or the probabilities of the or the outcomes of each pregnancy for the father unaffected normal father with a mother carrier of hemophilia we'll go to the second example the second example here is the father the father has hemophilia while the mother is unaffected we have the probability or outcome that the sons no sons will have hemophilia no sons will have hemophilia while all daughters all daughters will be carrier for this uh, pregnancy the outcomes so it will affect the daughter so the father will affect all his daughter all his daughter So in order to avoid these outcomes, this is uh, unrequired uh, uh, outcomes, we have to do what's called genetic counseling. Genetic counseling in order to detect the carrier mother, in order to detect the affected father, and, or, and, and in order to inform the father and the mother by the possible outcomes from this pregnancy. Before marriage, before marriage, marriage before the uh, marriage what's called premarital screening so we have a program it's called pre pre means uh, before marital marriage screening so we can screen the genetics of the uh, man and the genetics of the uh, uh, the female or woman uh, give them a report that uh, you are carrier for female and you are deceased for a male and the possible outcomes will be like that uh, and you have to decide to complete this marriage or to stop and to cancel this marriage in order to avoid uh, the uh, outcomes that uh, carrier female or carrier daughters or deceased uh, males So carrier detection for hemophilia is very important. Carrier detection, as we mentioned, carrier detection. Very important 
to detect the carriers uh, in the uh, pre-marital screening. If we find a marriage, the father and the mother, and now the mother is pregnant, we have to do what's called antenatal diagnosis of the uh, hemophily. The antenatal diagnosis by examining the genetic or the gene or DNA analysis of the peripheral blood leukocyte. So we will uh, know the carrier, we will know the disease. Uh, it will be at the ninth week of the pregnancy, DNA analysis of the chorionic biopsy, or later uh, at 18th week of pregnancy by factor 8 assay. We will take a fetal blood sample during pregnancy from the uterus uh, in order to assay the level of factor 8 and detect uh, the baby has mild or moderate or severe uh, deficiency of factor here and to decide what is the next action.